what causes behavior? What is the thing that is causing our kids to act the way that they do? What is it that is happening at home or at school or in their own development that is causing this child to act the way they are? That is the first thing that we need to discover as teachers. And how do we do this? We do this by using the A, B, R, or A, B, C chart. That is the first page in your download that's included in this video set. The A, B, R is called the antecedent, the behavior, and the response. And that's a way that we track a child's behavior to determine the cause of the behavior. So as you look at that page, I'm going to show you exactly how we discover what's happening. So what causes the behavior? A is the antecedent. E-T-E-N, antecedent. Um, B is the behavior and R is our response or the response of the child, okay? So we have the antecedent is what happens before the child does the behavior. For instance, Johnny always bites Susie when she has the red ball and he wants it. So the antecedent is the red ball. Uh, the behavior is him biting, and the response is what I do or what Sally does in response to the bite, okay? If um, Charlie runs the other direction every time we have a transition in the classroom, then the antecedent is Charlie or me saying that we're going inside now, it's time for circle, it's time for snack. The behavior is Charlie running away. And the response is what I do in response to him running. Does that make sense? So for every behavior, there's an antecedent, there's a cause, and there's a response. What do I do in response to his behavior? Now, we need to track a child's behavior over a period of time. Sometimes it's not so apparent what is causing that behavior. So we need to track it for a week or two to figure out what exactly is the cause. Maybe it's an object. Maybe it's a time of day. Maybe it's a developmental need. Maybe they are acting out in circle because they can't sit still and they have some sensory needs. Maybe they are biting because they can't yet use their words to communicate and they have a speech delay. So we have to talk about speech delay with their family. Uh, maybe there's some concerns about developmental progression, such as autism or something else that we need to have parents go talk to their doctor about. And there's ways we can do this. But to set up a behavior plan, what we want to start with is what's your child doing well? What is your child doing and why? That's this first step. The what's causing this behavior. And that's what we need to decide in this group. We print out the ABC form or the ABR form, consequence or response, whatever you want to call it and fill that out with your child for the next couple weeks. And then we're going to together decide what is causing that behavior after we look at the data, okay? So fill that out, and then once you do, move on to the next video in this series where we're gonna talk about what we're going to do now that we figured out what the cause of the behavior is. Talk soon!